Angelina Mango is winning for Italy. It's amazing song. It's amazing performance as for so far I saw from the previous nights. I didn't see the one which won in the final. So we will watch this together. But I must say this also was a blast by YouTube readerships of everything. Like this song, this artist won everything possible by far. If you remember in Ukraine, the votes of the Alonia Alonia and Jerry Hale received more than 700,000 votes. Angelina Mango received 700,000 viewers after like 10 hours of being online of her live performance in San Remo night one. After I did the video, she had twice as much as the second one and much more than the previous ones. After I just finished editing the video, she had doubled numbers. And now I, I, I will check how much. Angelina Mango Sanremo night. I think this was this one, yes, four days ago. Now she has four million. Four million views. Just four days, yes. Just to be sure what is happening in here. Her other other videos, they have absolutely crazy numbers also. Just check it on YouTube. This is fascinating story already. Now let's watch the final performance. Let's give some predictions. Let's give some notes. And before I will do the video about who is Angelina Mango, about more of her artistry, more of her songs and music and her history, because I want to find out who she is. Let's react on this final performance, shall we? Oh my god, she looked so beautiful that night. Like, she wasn't my favorite back then. She, I, 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 I would prefer Annalisa probably, but Italy just cannot step wrongly you know they had like another seven artists maybe more who could contend for amazing result at eurovision one of them is angelina mango but i will tell you after she is preparing her for the winning performance and let's do this but it's like a copy paste she's a Born performer. Such cool. I'm very curious how will they do the staging. They should combine the filmic methods and entertainment. Old school kind of. Or very filmic all the time, as a cabaret, as Moulin Rouge. Uh, this is how you rock when you win San Remo. It's so clean vocals. This is brilliant. Like how how big spark she has in the voice. It's so clean. You can do push-ups on it. And so energetic and so good. It's just the pure quality, you know. Pure quality. It's not an easy it's not an easy song to stage Only what it feels that this song this is more endings than it should have this is the thing 
It feels like ending and starting once again more times than once. This is what I also had a problem with. But come on, her performance is like, and she keeps the energy. Grazie mille. And she keeps the energy all the song long. All the song long, she keeps the maximum effort, maximum spark. It, it's, it's still going up. And this is the mastery of a great artist. They will never fall down. They are like... I have a feeling that if the song has 10 minutes, she still goes, you know? She would do it and better and better and she will give some other vocal artistry and so on. So this is perfection. What is the only thing what I, I believe will not guarantee her amazingly third, second, maybe winning place at Eurovision, and maybe I'm wrong about this, but is that this song is from a little bit different niche. It's not universal speaking, it's specific. And that's not because I like universal music, whatever it actually means, but it's specific. It don't have this hit, guaranteed which translates to another Europeans who are not from Italy and know more about the context and so on so this is something special this is maybe too Italian in my opinion to to conquer Europe in my opinion and I don't believe this song has this huge potential I, I believe it's a top 10 top 10 song it will be top 10 song especially because of her performance because that like if you're a juror you see, like, she's a proper entertainer, worldwide quality, it's there. It's a joy to watch her singing and listen to her. This is all joy. The song is a uh, trouble, a little bit. That, in my opinion, won't work that well in Europe. It won't resonate that much as the songs from previous years. But this is the only downside, and also the downside you don't need to agree with. So write me in the comments below, what do you think about what I just said? If you find something else on it how would you feel the staging because in my opinion i would feel it very filmical very musical like but as a movie filmic cameras big depth of fields big close-ups big energy span something like uh the black swan was shot on one on one camera it feels like one edit one cut and that's how I would do it with this. It would help because it would keep the flow and energy. It's hardcore for the cameraman, but on Eurovision they are the best ones. So they can handle this. And for this staging, it would be amazing. Italy, you can also hire me. I will do it for you for free. And I said it for free, right? That's a mistake. Anyway, I would do it. And I would show you that it would work and it would get you further. But definitely whoever will be doing it, I really hope that you will be listening to it. Probably not, but let's see the messengers and do everything for the best placing because like oh, come on Angelina Mango is amazing artist amazing artist even Italy could choose another maybe 10 7 I don't know how many amazing artists and it still will be a talk about the same placing better or a little bit worse and that's it that's it about Angelina Mango and her song La Noa Now. There will be time later for coming back for what Italy represents for Eurovision and why Italy is the best big five country by far. And everybody else should look what they are doing, how they are doing it and just try to find their way how to not copy paste, but how to get inspired by it instead of being arrogant about it. That would help the whole Eurovision actually, especially nowadays. Okay guys, thank you for watching, that's all from me, you know what to do, subscribe to the channel, send me a coffee, write me in the comments below, and see you next time. Thank you for watching, bye!